Hey, Alex. Hey, Kaylin. How are you? Good. How are you? Doing well. What are you up to? Uh, we're working on our placemaking and streetscaping out here in the Holland Center area. Uh, we recently resurfaced the Holland's Community Gateway sign out here, as well as planted six new shade trees as part of our 2024 Arbor Day Foundation grant. Awesome. Well, the sign looks great, and I'm excited to learn more. There's lots of activity out here. Let's go roam. Let's roam. Alex, as the principal planner for Roanoke County, can you talk about the Holland Center plan and what it is? Yeah, so Roanoke County looked at this area back in 2018 and I identified it as one of our activity center plans. So the plan took about two years to put together and was adopted in July of 2020. But during the plan's involvement, uh, we had over 880 citizens participate in plans development. And so why was this area chosen? So the, we picked this area because it's the highest concentration of employees in Roanoke County on Plantation Road up near Wells Fargo, Elbit, and Double Envelope, but also because it's one of our main interstate exits on 81. It serves as a county gateway, as well as Holland's University is just down the road. So this made the most sense for redevelopment opportunities in terms of mixed use, industrial, commercial and residential opportunities out here. You can definitely tell there's a lot going on and a lot happening. For sure. We have with us Megan Cronice, Assistant Director of Planning. Hi Caitlin, thanks so much for having me again. We are standing on the shared use path that we constructed in 2018 with a lot of different funding sources. It extends from Walrun Drive down to Williamson Road. It's 10 foot wide, paved for pedestrians and bicyclists. Uh, from here, we built sidewalk to go from Ga Walrun Drive up to Gander Way, and that was completed in 2022. And then we're at the Lila Drive intersection where we put in a new traffic signal with pedestrian crosswalks and signals in 2020. So we've spent a lot of time out here trying to improve the transportation infrastructure pe for people who walk and bike. Um, so we're really excited to show it off today. Yes, I'm excited too. These are very wide sidewalks. So this is great for biking and walking or walking in large groups too. We have additional projects on Williamson Road too. We have one section of sidewalk finishing up, another section that's on the ground, and then more coming in 2025. Are there any other projects in store that we can look forward to? So we have a study that VDOT has been helping us with along Peter Creek Road and Williamson Road, starting at Woodhaven, which is the edge of the city, all the way to Plantation Road, looking at a number of high crash intersections. We also have been hearing for many years that residents want sidewalks and bike lanes out here. So we're seeing what we're able to potentially fit into a grant application that will be due this summer. We are here with Chairman North, who oversees the Hollands District, and we are super excited to have you to hear all about the projects you are excited about. Thank you very much. It's good to be here, and this is a very busy corridor, especially during the day with all the employment around here. Well, so what are some of the projects that you are excited about? Well, I'm excited about all the improvements uh, over the years. You know, it doesn't happen overnight. You have to apply for this, and most all the money in this corridor was federal or state funds with very little used from the Roanoke County taxpayers locally. Uh, also, along with these improvements has come economic development and more employment in this corridor. In fact, this is the busiest commercial corridor in Roanoke County in terms of industry, like, for example, Wells Fargo, Elbit, double envelope, to name a few. So we have these big industries that you talked about, but then we also have improvements over at Walrin Park that have been exciting for the community. It's in high demand, the new pickleball courts over there. You know, we use former tennis courts in some way and convert them to pickleball courts, and the demand is high. Just go over there some morning at 8 o'clock during the week and see how many people are there. <laughs> well, and as a former tennis player, I appreciate that we're not just getting rid of the tennis courts, but we're making a way for both sports to exist. Exactly, and both do. Very busy time, um, both with recreation, but also, as we've talked about, transportation and economic development projects. Exactly. And many people in other parts of the county may not know this, but this is the northern gateway to Roanoke County Highlands is coming off Interstate 81. With respect to the entrance uh, to Roanoke County here on the northern side, if you come off Interstate 81 from the north or come off from the south, you'll notice there's a lot of construction, but in the near future, probably in the next eight years, there's going to be three-lane traffic right through Roanoke County on Interstate 81 to improve safety and fluidity. And all of this means more economic development coming in the future at parcels that will bring more housing, that will probably bring more restaurants, which we welcome here in this area, 
to complement the restaurants we have here today. And so economic development leads to more economic development and transportation plays a big role. Now with us, we have Roanoke County Economic Development Specialist, Carly Foster, who is here to share some of her expertise on the Holland Center area. Thank you for having me, Kaylin. We'd love to share all the exciting things happening in the Hollands District. Well, and there's lots to share. Yes. So, historically, Hollands is known to have the largest concentration of employment in Roanoke County, and we expect that to hold true with Wells Fargo announcing their newest expansion with $87 million investment and adding 1,100 new jobs. This project is the largest office project west of the Blue Ridge, and it is Roanoke County's largest job announcement ever, so that's pretty exciting. And with that development, I'm sure it brings additional development as well. Yes, so Spring Hill Suites just opened up, and then we also have the new Starbucks over in the Hollands area that everyone was so excited for. I have already visited. I'm very excited. Yep, it's, <laughs> we're really excited for that. And then also Southern Team Hyundai just opened up their new dealership in the area. There's also a lot of new exciting developments coming in the future with the addition of Sheets locating in the Hollands area, so we're excited about that. Yes, well, that is Excellent news for all in Roanoke County and the region, and we appreciate your expertise. Thank you. Alex, what other exciting projects do we have going on? There's lots of momentum out here. We have the new paved walking trail over at Hollands Park. Uh, the Hollands Library Replacement Project, has, uh, it's in its beginning stages in the design phase, but uh, that has begun, as well as the new Roanoke County Public Schools Career and Technical Education Center just down Peters Creek Road from here. Awesome. Well, there certainly is a lot of momentum. There is, and we're only four years since plan adoption, so we're excited what's to come. Once again, this is a 10 to 20 year plan, so we're looking forward to the years ahead. Well, thank you so much to you and the department, as well as Chairman North, for all of your expertise and work. Thanks for coming out to Hollands today, Halen. Always happy to be on the Rome. Let's go. Woo